We, we um, you know, I certainly, my dad talks about scouting, and, and I'm, you know, he, he says I can do it, and, and I did it four years ago for him for two years, and Billy's very similar, but this is not something where I'm saying I want to do all the scouting, you guys go recruit. That was not, that's not my plan oh, at all. That, was <laughs> that, is, that is not the plan. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Steve didn't think it was a plan either, and sometimes plans change, but I mean, they, they were laid out everything and, and before they took the job, and it was probably helpful for my dad that I was here to be able to talk to these guys about what they wanted to, you know, what they need to do. But they, they know what's going to go into it, what's going to get the job done, and, and they wouldn't be sitting here if they weren't able to do every facet of it. They're not going to be labeled. He's a recruiter. He's a coach. He's a, you know, that's, we're all going to do the same things. You mentioned that, that you kind of feel behind the eight ball in terms of the 2012 class, but there's still 106 out of 150 that are uncommitted, and really nobody signed until November. So it, do you feel like there's still plenty of time? I think there's time, and you know, you obviously know the numbers. I mean, there's a lot of guys available out there, and you know, people are understanding when you lose a whole staff, and, and so we've all got to do a very good job of working together to get involved with some good players. You know, they, they'll understand if we explain the situation. Listen, this is why we weren't recruiting you because we weren't here. Why King's in New Mexico? Kevin's at Hargrave, and I'm at Florida. Um, so I think we've got plenty of time to make up. And you know, May and June, when we're allowed to, hopefully we can get some guys to visit and then get out in July and continue to work with it. But like these guys touched upon, I mean, there is so much to sell here, even since I left. I mean, going back to that arena, it's as nice as it, as it gets. I mean, we played when I was at Florida in the Orlando arena, and everybody said that was the nicest in pro in, in the KFC Yum Center. I don't, I don't know if that's what they call it, but KFC Yum Center is, is much nicer than that. Were you able to come back at all for a game this year? I came to the uh, UNLV game because I was recruiting in the area and uh, I was able to go. What, what are your thoughts on game day? It was it was tough for me to be honest because I wanted to be a part of it. Um, you know, and I, I kind of came in and, and you see that arena and you're like, wow. You know, Freedom Hall was great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I had some great memories in there uh, being a part of it, but just seeing that it, it made me want to be a part of it, and then just being a couple rows and, and seeing him out there and, uh, you know, a couple of players that I have relationships with and the staff members and everything. So that's one of the reasons why I was so excited to come back. How hard was it for you to leave? It was very hard. It, it was. What, what happened was Billy had called my dad and said, you know, do, do you, I need to get a young assistant, a guy who loves to recruit and loves to work. And knowing my dad, as you guys do, he suggested me, and it, at first I'm like, are you insane? It makes no sense. Why would I do that? And the more I thought about it, I said, you know what? This is a chance to grow. And I'll always have him as a resource and a mentor. This is a chance for me to go and work for another future Hall of Famer and learn some more. And I missed it. I, I certainly missed Louisville, missed my family, but I would never change the decision I made because I'm much better because of it. Well, the system coach talked about having all three of you possibly even overlapping on, on guys while you're recruiting. Is, is that at all unique, I mean, based on your past experience, or is this something that, you know, a, a lot of other staffs do as well? Um, it, that, that way of doing things is not unique. Um, programs that I've been a part of in the past, that's the way we did it. You know, if you're going to... To me, it just it just makes sense to get to know everyone on staff, to have a relationship with everyone on staff. You know, I mean, it just you know what I may say is great about Louisville basketball. You know, Rich may have he may have a different outlook on it. He may have something else that he thinks is, is great about it. And to be able to present that to the recruit, for the recruit to be able to hear it from all of us, our different points of view of what makes Louisville basketball great. Why wouldn't you do it that way? You know, and. and you know, when it's time to make a decision, you know, you know, if you're gonna say no, you got to say no to all of us, you know, as opposed to saying no to just one one coach, you know. So we just feel like that's the way, best way to do it. Um, our relation, you know, we're gonna build a relationship here. Our temperaments, you know, it, it's it's best to do it that way. Um, like 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 Richard said before, we have no egos, you know, and. Um, we just feel like that's just the best way to do it. You know? Do you put your acting career on? When you talk about the staff, the three of you guys getting indoors and talking to kids and getting kids here, talk about then having a guy like Coach Patino as the 
the closer to come in behind the three of you guys and what what that means for the kid for the uh, high school or prep school coach you know being at Hargrave for 12 years has allowed me to be able to see how everybody recruits um, some of the best ones in the country I mean we've had guys that played in every conference in the country that you can imagine and um, you know coach when you say his name it's probably four or five guys in the country uh, as, as, as head coaches when you say their name uh, kids eyes light up well coach is one of those guys and um, you know when I'm able to put a kid in front of him or mention him or have him get on the phone with a kid um, I think that's big and especially having the opportunity to sit down with him and talk to him I mean coach is a Hall of Fame coach I mean, he's the best of the business as I said before so uh, that to me is big um, having the opportunity to do that and you know I've got a great coach to sell I've got a great place to sell I think that's going to help him recruit a lot. What do you guys think about the signing a, a multi-year contract? And you know, I, I know Coach was talking about he wanted you know just a little bit of stability and guys focused on being here. I, I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, as you know, we take a job, and you know, I don't have one foot in and one foot out. Uh, I'm here. If something happens four or five years or six or seven years down the road, then I'm excited about it. But I think that's a great idea. I think more universities should go to that. Um, you know, it's uh, you know when you take a job, you want to do the best job that you can, and you want to leave your mark on the job that you take. And um, um, I'm here, and I, I think these guys agree that we're all here to do a job. And um, I think that's a great idea. We all get to learn the derby. Is that part of the deal? He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> very excited. Very excited. My wife and I are going to be attending the Derby. And so, I mean, my wife's back at home shopping and trying to find dresses and knee ties and all of that. And, and we're very excited. Um, I've never even imagined, you know, having the opportunity to, to attend the Derby. So this is, this is a big deal for us. It's going to be fun. You go back to Gino's form.